Well, a girl with a severe intellectual disability slapped in the face, dragged by her leg, and then forced to walk on the pavement with no shoes on. The person responsible, a shirts daycare worker, and it was all caught on camera. The child's mother telling our Dylan Collier that this is her worst fear becoming reality. We do have a warning. This story contains footage that you might find disturbing. Lori's behavior is, you know, real aggressive towards her already. Maricela Gutierrez says raising a child with special needs is an everyday struggle. From disputes with insurance providers to finding a safe place to care for her 13-year-old daughter, Jalen. Jalen suffers from seizures and has a chromosome disorder that prevents her from talking. In late April, an onboard camera was rolling as her school bus dropped her off at Mary's Little Lambs, the shirt's daycare she's gone to for the past nine years. What happened next is difficult to watch. Daycare worker Lori Dorries gets on and immediately tells the child she's going to get in trouble. Get up right now, right, right now. After Jalen twice reaches for Dorries, Dorries strikes her in the face with an open hand. Don't do that to me, because I'll get you back, right? Moments later, Dorries pulls Jalen across the floor of the bus by the girl's leg before making her walk across the parking lot without shoes or socks on. There was no need for her to be taken off the bus that way. If they couldn't handle her or get her off the bus, they should have reached out to me. Instead, it was Jalen's school district that reached out after the bus monitor reported the actions of Dory's. Well, maybe she didn't know there was cameras, but to do it in the open in front of two people, what was being done when nobody was watching. Gutierrez contacted Schertz police and state child care investigators who on April 28th cited Mary's Little Lambs for four deficiencies related to the incident. The facility is now on a voluntary plan of action until next January. Its owner says Dory's resigned after being moved to kitchen duty away from all children. But the criminal case stalled out. After Schertz police sent it to municipal court, a police official said that office rejected it. With Dory's cleared of possible criminal wrongdoing, Gutierrez is left to ponder what else might have been done to her daughter. That's what breaks me every night, like still to this day, the past four months, I think about it. What was she enduring inside the daycare? For Case That Investigates, I'm Dylan Collier. A disturbing situation. Doris declined via email to release a statement about that incident.